Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to do another live talks with cats. And actually, ang tagal ko na siyang hindi nagawa. So I think hindi bago ko, and I haven't really cleared out my mind on what I want to talk about. But I know that I want to talk about something today. And um, ayon, we are here at the Chatswood Oval Park because this is the nearest park that I can show you around. Um, near my place. I was supposed to bring you to Watson's Bay but it's raining today and ayun, so dito na lang tayo. I was supposed to bring you to Lavender Bay then. Pero maulan nga. So, yeah. So this is the Chatswood Oval Park and then parang may mga, mga benches dyan. I think there's a game here and parang mga stalls for some time and then meron din public gym there. Where is it? Doon. And then you can actually um lift weights there pero parang it's not as good kung, nasa, kung meron kayong sariling equipment naman sa bay or if may gym kayo if you can go to the gym I think that's way better because this one is just very light I think you're just using body weight for it so ayun usap tayo in a while I just have to think about what I want to say in this episode of Life Talks with Cats ayan so tuluyan na ang umulan so sumasabay yung weather sa ating topic wait lang ha. So, I'm wearing my hoodie kasi nga, maulan na. And, yeah, um, ayokong mabasa kasi magkakasakit tayo. So, I'm wearing my hoodie while I'm going to talk to you about um, about the word siguro, broken. And, broken is something very very, very close to my heart because because siguro I used to be broken as well. I used to be broken, lost, and parang walang hope sa buhay. And, um, I know the feeling of it. It's very, very sad. It's very, very different. And every time I meet someone na ganon, parang my heart just connects with them. Kasi I used to be there and parang I just want to let them know na there's always hope for them. And parang you don't have to give up. You don't have to isolate yourself. Kasi every time you isolate yourself, you're actually, you're actually parang inviting... Wait lang yung ambulance. Actually inviting um, voices in your head that would talk to you about lies, about your future, about your worth as a person. And ayon, parang being broken is is really not a good place to be in. But you should always acknowledge it, because 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 being broken is is not the end of your life. It is just a Ano ba siya? Para ano na siya? It's just a part of your life that you have to go through so that you can experience the fullness of life. And ayun nga, parang it's always very easy to judge these broken people. Parang we always think that they are, um, that they, parang they, parang kasalanan nila lahat yun. Parang they, no English non wait lang. Parang they are the one who, parang they, parang they deserve it. Parang yun yun yung mga judgment ng mga tao na they deserve it. That's why parang they are experiencing those things. Um, I think there's a part then na parang of course we always have to face the consequences of what we did in the past. We always parang there's always consequences for the wrong things that we have done. But there's always hope for it. And parang they parang always remember that it's not a hope. It's not a, it's not a hopeless case and it's very easy to judge people. Especially we don't um, parang hear their side of their story, but as, but if we definitely have heard their side of the story, it will all be different because you will see that they're just parang longing then for someone to to understand them, someone to accept them for who they are, someone to someone to parang give them hope a bit to just give them a bit of light in that dark place that they're in. And, ayun, parang, interesting lang, may mga ano ko, nag-notes ako pala, parang, ano ba, parang, yun nga, parang hurt people, hurt people, so parang, wait, ulitin ko, hurt people, hurt people, so, always remember that, um, minsan, they don't even know that they are hurting people, because they, are, they also once were hurt people, so sometimes it just needs, Parang we just have to really be patient in understanding them that um, they are they 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 are they don't do it intentionally. 
sempre parang we all have our free will and also and also it's a two way thing and we always have a choice when we do the wrong things in life and yun, um, that's the fact and mali talaga yun and I mean that's really wrong but there's also the other side of the story that um, sometimes we are just not aware of it and and parang we just really need guidance from people around us from from God then of course if we just surrender everything to Him because yun nga, I was once a broken and hopeless case but I don't know, I just came to a point na hindi ko na kaya and I came to a point na parang Lord, how do you even get back from this? I'm just so tired of this kind of life and I'm just so tired of just being angry all the time and being just so tired of of parang parang being traumatized or parang lacking self-confidence and everything parang I was just so tired of life back then but then the Lord gave me hope the Lord gave me gave me that hope to bounce back to believe in myself again and to live for a purpose kaya every time there's people who reach out to me whom I can connect with na who are broken um, it's very hard for me to to ignore them because I know that parang God has given them in my life for a purpose and sometimes it's always hard to to parang na hindi sila care because I've been there and sometimes I always tell God na I love them but I love God more and if God would tell me to to surrender them I would because I know that um God loves them more more than me and if I can guide them, I know that God can guide them more. If I care for them, I know that God can guide them more. Parang God can care for them more because um, I'm just, parang I'm a daughter of God, pero sino ba ang creator natin? So, the most parang valuable person to really help us is our creator, is our Father in Heaven, and that is God. And, ayun, parang sobra lang akong naiiyak. Actually, sobrang iyak ko lately kasi parang I can feel talaga yung mga broken people dito sa Australia and I can really feel how broken they are, how lost they are and I just know that um, yung empathy ko kasi sa mga tao, I really can feel it. I know it's always, I mean, I, think, I mean that is my strength. That is really my strength na I can feel the heart of these people and that is really my strength when people um, share their lives to me. I know that um, it's very hard for for people to share their lives, but yet they trust me with their life. And every time I hear stories about about these kinds of things, it just makes me more and more parang mas masakit lalo yung puso ko knowing that um, if only I can share Christ to them, if only I can share a, a glimpse of God's love to them, parang that would be enough. Yeah, and so maybe just. A word of encouragement to people who have met broken people um, just show care to them show compassion to them try to listen to them if you can and um, just accept them for who they are um, rebuke them in love and always um, just listen and do not judge and and ayun, parang these are stories of pain these are stories of broken people but most of all these are stories of faith a stories of a new beginning of a new chapter in their lives ayon so i'm just really excited on how god will um open the hearts of these broken people and if you are broken um always know that you're not alone and you're not a hopeless case and that god loves you so much and um there's always ano ba, there's always hope um, in you and your past will not define you and you can always bounce back you just have to choose to bounce back you just have to choose to surrender to God and find God and have this perfect peace and love in your life so that is the end of this vlog and if you have liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe and share this channel so again thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Life Talks with Kat